Now let's consider a case where uh, the azimuth is 90 degrees. Now again, remember that that's measured from directly north. So 90 degrees from directly north is due east. And if we plug in the value uh, for sine of 90, that's 1. So we get cosine of I equals cosine LA, or I equals LA. The inclination is equal to the latitude uh, of the launch site. And this is, in fact, the minimum possible. So I put I'm in here. So if you are at the uh, Cape uh, Canaveral at 28.5 degrees, your inclination uh, from essentially an impulsive uh, launch uh, can be uh, no smaller than 28.5 degrees. <clears throat> Notice that if we plug in A is equals 0 into this equation, we get sine of 0, which is 0, and therefore cosine I equals 0. And in that case, the inclination is a 90 degree inclination. We're ignoring for the moment the small effect, comparatively speaking, of the Earth's rotation. So if we launch straight north, we will be in an inclined orbit of 90 degrees when we neglect that small effect of the Earth's rotation. So here's the situation. Here I'm showing a velocity vector into the page by this half circle with an arrow. So by right-hand rule, that's pointing into the page. Uh, and we launch then from Kennedy, uh, Cape, Can Cape Kennedy or Cape Canaveral, uh, where, the launch, uh, <coughs> where the latitude of the launch site is 28.5 degrees. And if we launch straight east, we'll have an inclination of 28.5 degrees. So here's our inclined orbit. And this is, again, um, a great circle, <clears throat> just as the equator is a great circle. And uh, this uh, orbit plane contains the center of the Earth. Let's now consider allowable azimuth range for a given launch site, such as uh, Cape Canaveral over here. The launch azimuth, the direction you're allowed to launch in, is restricted for safety. <clears throat> we have to avoid having the vehicle travel over populated areas uh, because there will be stage drops and there could be malfunctions. And so in the eastern test range, or Cape Canaveral, the allowable azimuth ranges from 35 degrees to 120. And again, remember that the azimuth angle is measured from straight north. So this is the AZ. So you can be as uh, <clears throat> small as 35 degrees. And uh, let's think now for a moment. By the way, this is uh, from uh, Charles Brown's book. <clears throat> and um, let's take an example now about you know what is the uh, azimuth, allowable uh, azimuth angle for a polar orbit, uh, where I equals 90 degrees for launch from Cape Canaveral. Uh, and is, well, what is the value, and then is it allowable? So I have two questions here. So if we go to our equation two and rearrange to solve for azimuth in terms of uh, I and uh, <coughs> latitude, we're putting in a cosine of 90 now for the inclination, the latitude of 28, but of course cosine of 90 is zero, so we have sine of AZ is zero, and therefore AZ turns out to be zero, uh, by this calculation, and this is not allowable because we see that uh, zero uh, would, an angle of zero for AZ would, would be straight north, and that would fly over populated areas, and it's outside this range of 35 degrees to 120. Now, if you want a highly inclined orbit, then you go over to the western test range and launch in a southerly direction, uh, which is allowed. <coughs> 